I have a secret to share with you, a universal truth that has the power to transform your life in ways you never imagined possible. Are you ready? Let's dive in. You see, the universe operates on a principle so simple yet so profound that it has the potential to change the course of your entire existence. It's the power of your thoughts and words. When you say something like, I'm going to do this, or I will have that, it's like you're putting it on a shelf marked future. It's like saying, I'll get to it later, and leaving it there, waiting for you to come back to it. But here's the thing, the universe takes your words seriously. It listens to what you say, and it's always ready to give you what you ask for, whether you realize it or not. So, when you talk about your dreams and desires as if they're something far off in the distance, that's where they stay, out there in the future, just beyond your reach. It's like putting a goal on a shelf and never taking it down to work on it. But here's the secret. If you want to bring your dreams to life, you have to speak about them as if they're already here. Instead of saying, I'm going to, or I will have, try saying, I am, or I have. Speak about your dreams and desires as if they're happening right now in this moment. When you do this, you're sending a clear message to the universe that you're ready for your dreams to become a reality. You're telling the universe that you believe in yourself and in your ability to make things happen. And guess what? The universe listens. It hears your words and starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams come true. So, instead of saying, I'm going to start my own business someday, try saying, I am a successful business owner. Instead of saying, I will have a happy relationship one day, try saying, I have a loving and fulfilling relationship right now. Every single thought you have matters, my dear friends. It's like dropping pebbles into a pond. Each one creates ripples that spread out far and wide. When you think positive thoughts, it's like dropping a pebble of sunshine into your pond of life. The ripples of positivity touch everything around you, bringing warmth, light, and good things your way. But when you entertain negative thoughts, it's like dropping a pebble of darkness into your pond. The ripples of negativity spread out, casting shadows and pushing away the good things that were on their way to you. It's not that the good things disappear entirely. They're still out there, just beyond your reach, obscured by the clouds of negativity. Imagine your mind as a garden and your thoughts as seeds that you plant in the soil. Positive thoughts are like seeds of flowers. They bloom into beauty, filling your garden with color and fragrance. But negative thoughts are like weeds. They choke out the flowers and make your garden look dull and lifeless. Have you ever been really close to getting something good, but then it felt like it slipped away right when it was within your grasp? Think about those moments in your life, you know, when you were almost there, but then it just didn't work out. If you take a moment to think back what was going on in your mind during those times, what were you feeling? What were you telling yourself? Maybe you were filled with excitement and hope only to feel disappointment when things didn't go as planned. Or perhaps you were anxious or doubtful, worrying about whether things would work out in the end. Your mental atmosphere, the thoughts and feelings swirling around inside you, played a big role in shaping the outcome. It's like when you're reaching for something on a high shelf, you stretch and stretch, thinking you finally got it, but then it slips from your fingertips. It's frustrating, isn't it? But what if, instead of focusing on the disappointment, you focused on what led up to that moment? When you're reaching for your dreams, your mental atmosphere is just as important as your actions. If you're filled with doubt or fear, it's like adding weights to your balloon. It's going to be harder to reach those heights. 
But if you're filled with positivity and confidence, you'll soar higher and higher. When you have lots of negative thoughts bouncing around in your head, it's like building a big wall between you and the good stuff in life. These negative thoughts create a barrier that blocks out the positive energy and stops good things from coming your way. Imagine your mind as a garden and negative thoughts as weeds that sprout up and choke out the flowers of positivity. The more weeds you have, the harder it is for the flowers to grow and bloom. In the same way, too many negative thoughts make it difficult for positive affirmations to take root and flourish in your life. But here's the good news. You have the power to tear down that barrier and clear away those weeds. You can do this by learning to think and speak in positive affirmations, uplifting statements that affirm the good things you want to manifest in your life. Positive affirmations are like seeds of positivity that you plant in the garden of your mind. When you repeat these affirmations regularly, you water them with your belief and watch as they grow into beautiful flowers of abundance, health, and happiness. When you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought. I no longer choose to think that way. Then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can. It's important to remember that feeling good is key. When you're feeling happy and positive, everything seems brighter and easier. But when negative thoughts creep in, thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, or guilt, they can bring you down and make you feel downright miserable. Think of it like this. Your mind is like a garden, and your thoughts are the seeds you plant. Positive thoughts are like seeds of beautiful flowers that bloom and bring joy. While negative thoughts are like seeds of thorny weeds that tangle and choke the life out of your garden. So, if you want to cultivate a garden of happiness and abundance in your life, you need to let go of those negative thought patterns. It's like pulling out the weeds so that the flowers can flourish. When you hold on to bitterness or resentment, it's like carrying around a heavy weight on your shoulders. It weighs you down and keeps you from experiencing the lightness and joy that life has to offer. Blaming others or feeling guilty about past mistakes only serves to keep you stuck in a cycle of negativity. Affirmations are like magic spells that can make problems disappear. When you repeat positive phrases over and over again, they work like little helpers in your mind. So, when things seem tough, you can say to yourself, everything is going to be okay. Good things are coming my way. I am safe. Imagine your mind as a garden. When you plant seeds of positivity with affirmations, they grow into beautiful flowers that chase away the weeds of worry and fear. So, whenever you're facing a challenge, you can water your garden with affirmations like, I trust that everything will work out in the end. I believe in myself and my abilities. I am surrounded by love and support. It's like having a secret weapon against negativity. Instead of letting problems drag you down, you can fight back with words of encouragement and hope. So, whenever doubts creep in, you can say to yourself, I am stronger than I think. I have the power to overcome any obstacle. I am worthy of success and happiness. Affirmations are like little reminders that you are in control of your own destiny. And positivity, our minds become like fertile soil, ready to nurture the seeds of our dreams and desires. Imagine waking up each morning feeling excited and optimistic about the day ahead. You might start your day with a smile, feeling grateful for the simple pleasures in life like the warmth of the sun on your face or the sound of birds singing outside your window. These little moments of joy can set the tone for the rest of your day, filling your heart with positivity and giving you the energy and motivation to tackle whatever challenges come your way. When we're in a good mood, we naturally gravitate towards positive thoughts and affirmations. We might find ourselves saying things like, I am capable, 
I am worthy, or I am loved. These affirmations act like little pep talks for our minds, reminding us of our strengths and encouraging us to believe in ourselves. But cultivating a happy mental atmosphere isn't just about saying positive things. It's also about surrounding ourselves with positivity in all areas of our lives. This might mean spending time with people who uplift and inspire us, filling our homes with things that bring us joy, or engaging in activities that make us feel alive and fulfilled. Every day, it's important to take a little time for yourself. One way you can do this is by writing down positive affirmations. These are like little messages to yourself, reminders of how amazing and wonderful you truly are. Think about the things you want to believe about yourself. Maybe you want to feel loved or worthy or healthy. Whatever it is, take a moment to write it down. For example, you could write, I am loved, I am worthy, or I am healthy and vibrant. Once you've written down your affirmations, it's time to say them out loud. Speaking them aloud helps to reinforce them in your mind. It's like telling yourself a secret, except it's not really a secret because it's something you want to believe with all your heart. As you say your affirmations, try to really feel the words sinking in. Feel the warmth of love surrounding you. Feel the strength and worthiness radiating from within. Feel the vibrant energy coursing through your body. With each affirmation, let yourself bask in the positive energy that it brings. Remember, every thought you think counts. So don't waste your precious thoughts on negativity. Instead, focus on what you want to manifest in your life. Now, when it comes to our health, there's something truly remarkable to consider. Our bodies, you see, are like magical vessels filled with love and the power to heal. It's quite astonishing when you think about it. Every part of us, from our beating hearts to our working lungs, is designed to keep us well and vibrant. But here's the thing. Our bodies don't just operate on their own. They're influenced by something even more powerful, our thoughts and beliefs. Yes, that's right. What we think and what we believe can have a big impact on our health and well-being. Let me explain a bit more. Have you ever noticed how your mood can affect how you feel physically? For example, when you're feeling happy and positive, you might have more energy and vitality. But when you're feeling stressed or anxious, you might notice that you feel tired or run down. That's because our thoughts and emotions are closely connected to our physical health. When we think positively and believe in our body's ability to heal, it's like giving it a big boost of energy and support. Our cells respond to these positive messages by working more efficiently, helping to keep us healthy and strong. On the other hand, when we're constantly thinking negative thoughts or doubting our body's ability to heal, it can have the opposite effect. Our cells become stressed and strained, making it harder for our body to function optimally. This can leave us feeling tired, achy, or even sick. But here's the good news. We have the power to change our thoughts and beliefs. By adopting a more positive mindset and believing in our body's innate ability to heal, we can support our health and well-being in powerful ways. It's important to take care of your body in the best way possible. One of the most important things you can do is to treat your body with love and appreciation. Think of your body as your best friend, someone who's always there for you, supporting you through thick and thin. Just like you'd want to treat your best friend with kindness and respect, you should do the same for your body. One way to show love and appreciation for your body is by feeding it healthy foods. Your body needs a variety of nutrients to function at its best, so it's important to give it the nourishment it needs. This means eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Try to limit processed foods, sugary snacks, and unhealthy fats, as these can leave you feeling sluggish and tired. Exercise is another important way to care for your body. 
Regular physical activity not only helps keep your body strong and fit, but it also has numerous other benefits for your overall health and well-being. Exercise can help reduce stress, improve your mood, boost your energy levels, and even help you sleep better at night. Find activities that you enjoy, whether it's going for a walk, riding your bike, dancing, or playing a sport, and make them a regular part of your routine. You see, our bodies are always communicating with us. Every ache, pain, or discomfort is a message from our body, telling us what it needs. It's really important to pay attention to what your body is telling you. Your body is like a good friend. It knows what it needs, and it's always trying to communicate with you. So take a moment to listen. One way you can do this is by practicing mindfulness and meditation. Now, I know these might sound like big fancy words, but they're actually quite simple. Mindfulness is all about being present in the moment, paying attention to what's happening right now without judging or trying to change anything. Meditation, on the other hand, is a bit like exercise for your mind. It's a way to quiet all the chatter and noise in your head and connect with your inner wisdom. It's like giving your mind a little break so you can recharge and refresh. So how do you practice mindfulness and meditation? Well, it's really quite easy. You can start by finding a quiet, comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths focusing on the sensation of the air filling your lungs and then leaving your body. As you continue to breathe, try to let go of any thoughts or worries that pop into your head. Imagine them floating away. Okay. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Always remember to support yourself. When I gave my first lecture, I didn't criticize myself. Instead, I celebrated my effort and acknowledged that with practice, I would become a pro. And indeed, with each attempt, I grew more confident and skilled. Just before I wrote, You Can Heal Your Life, I challenged myself to learn something new using a word processor computer. I called her my magic lady, and oh, she truly was. Learning the computer's laws was akin to understanding spiritual laws. When I followed them diligently, magic unfolded before my eyes. But when I resisted or tried to bend the rules, well, let's just say it didn't work out as I hoped. And so as you embark on your journey of self-discovery and transformation, remember to learn and follow the spiritual laws. Embrace the new language of positivity and watch as magic unfolds in your life. Now let me share with you a glimpse into my daily routine, a routine infused with gratitude, affirmation, and self-love. Each morning before I even open my eyes, I express gratitude for a restful night's sleep. Then I spend a few moments thanking the universe for all the blessings in my life. Meditation is a sacred practice for me. It's a time to quiet the mind, listen to my inner wisdom, and set intentions for the day ahead. Exercise is not just for the body, it's for the mind and soul too. A brisk walk or some gentle stretching sets the tone for a vibrant day ahead. Nourishing my body with wholesome foods is an act of self-love. With each bite, I thank the earth for providing such abundance. Affirmations are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of our minds. Each morning, I stand before the mirror and speak words of love and empowerment to myself. Taking time for relaxation is vital in this fast-paced world. A few moments of deep relaxation rejuvenate the body and soothe the soul. Knowledge is power, my friends. I devote time each day to expand my mind through reading and study. There's always more to learn, and I relish every opportunity to grow. Now I understand if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by all of this. It might seem like a lot to take in at first, but I promise you, it's not as daunting as it seems. With a little practice, this routine will become as easy and natural as taking a breath. Think about it like this. When you first learn to tie your shoes or ride a bike, it probably felt tricky and awkward, but with time and practice, it became second nature. It's the same with this routine. At first, it might take some effort to remember all the steps and make them a part of your daily life. But as you continue to practice, it will become more effortless, like a well-worn path that you walk without even thinking about it. Imagine waking up each morning with your loved ones by your side, ready to embark on a new day together. You gather in a cozy space, perhaps in your living room or out in the fresh morning air. 
As you sit together, you take a moment to practice meditation. Meditation doesn't have to be complicated. It's simply about finding a quiet moment to be still and present. You close your eyes and take deep breaths, feeling the rhythm of your breath as it fills your body with peace and calm. With each inhale and exhale, you let go of any worries or stress from the day before, allowing yourself to be fully present in the here and now. As you meditate with your loved ones, you feel a sense of connection and unity. You're all on this journey together, supporting and uplifting each other along the way. There's a profound sense of harmony in the air as you synchronize your breath and intentions for the day ahead. The words we speak and the thoughts we harbor shape our reality. So start your day with positivity and watch as miracles unfold. Now let's talk about meditation. It's a powerful tool for quieting the mind and connecting with our inner wisdom. Whether you're a beginner or seasoned practitioner, meditation offers a sanctuary for the soul. Simply sit quietly, observe your breath, and allow thoughts to pass without judgment. There's no right or wrong way to meditate, my friends. Find a practice that resonates with you and commit to it daily. Now, let's have a chat about something truly special, affirmations. They're like little seeds we plant in the garden of our minds. Just like we water and care for seeds to help them grow into beautiful flowers, we can nurture our affirmations with love and watch as they blossom into reality. Imagine your mind as a garden, ready to be filled with all sorts of beautiful plants. Affirmations are the seeds we choose to plant, positive thoughts and beliefs that we want to cultivate in our lives. Each time we repeat an affirmation, it's like giving that seed a little sprinkle of water, helping it take root and grow stronger. But affirmations need more than just water to thrive. They need love and attention too. We need to believe in the power of our affirmations and trust that they will come true. When we infuse our affirmations with love and positivity, we create fertile ground for them to flourish. As we continue to nurture our affirmations, we start to see changes in our lives. Just like how a tiny seed grows into a mighty oak tree, our affirmations begin to take root and manifest in our reality. We may notice shifts in our thoughts, feelings, and actions guiding us toward the life we desire. But like any garden, our minds require regular care and attention. We need to tend to our affirmations daily, repeating them with conviction and belief. We can write them down on sticky notes and place them where we'll see them often or recite them aloud during moments of quiet reflection. Take one or two affirmations and repeat them daily. Write them down, speak them aloud, sing them with joy, let them become ingrained in your subconscious mind. Consistency is super important, my friends. It's like the secret sauce that makes everything work. When you stick with something and keep doing it over and over again, that's when the magic really happens. So when it comes to your affirmations, don't just say them once and then forget about them. Keep repeating them day after day until they become like second nature to you. Trust me. The more you say them, the more power they'll have. Believe in the power of your words. You might not see immediate results, and that's okay. Sometimes things take time to manifest it strong too. When you move your body, it's like giving your whole being a big, happy shakeup. It helps to get rid of any yucky, stuck feelings and brings in fresh, lively energy. Think about it like this. Have you ever noticed how good you feel after running around outside or dancing to your favorite song? That's because movement is like a magic potion that wakes up your body, mind, and spirit. It's like pressing the reset button on your whole self, whether you're taking a brisk walk in the park, playing tag with your friends, or even just doing a little dance in your living room. Find what makes your soul happy and do it every day. It could be anything that gets your body moving and your heart singing. Maybe you love the feeling of the wind in your hair as you ride your bike, or the sound of your feet 
pounding the pavement as you go for a run. Or maybe you prefer the rhythm of a good old-fashioned dance party where you can let loose and shake your groove thing. Taking care of your body is super important, just like taking care of a precious temple. And one of the best ways to do that is by feeding it with foods that make it happy and healthy. Imagine your body as a temple, a sacred place that deserves only the best. When you eat foods that are good for you, it's like giving your temple a big hug from the inside out. So choose foods that are packed with goodness, like fresh fruits, crunchy veggies, whole grains, and lean proteins. But here's the secret sauce. Before you dig in, take a moment to bless your meal and give thanks for all the yummy food in front of you. It's like saying a little prayer to show gratitude for the abundance in your life. And trust me, your body will thank you for it. You've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? Well, it's true. The food you put into your body has a big impact on how you feel, both physically and mentally. So, it's important to choose foods that nourish not just your body, but also your mind and spirit. Think about it like this. When you eat foods that are good for you, you feel energized, focused, and ready to take on the world. But when you eat foods that are full of junk and unhealthy stuff, you might feel tired, sluggish, and just not yourself. Feed your mind with knowledge and inspiration. Read books that uplift you, listen to podcasts that expand your horizons, and surround yourself with positivity. The more you learn, the more you grow. Gratitude is like a magic key that opens up a treasure chest full of happiness and joy. It's the secret to living a truly wonderful life. You see, no matter how tough things may seem, there's always something to be thankful for. Every day, take a little time to think about all the good things in your life, even the small stuff. Maybe you're grateful for the sunshine on your face or the delicious meal you had for lunch. Maybe it's the laughter of your friends or the cozy warmth of your bed at night. Whatever it is, take a moment to appreciate it. Now, here's where the magic happens. When you practice gratitude, you're actually inviting more good things into your life. It's like you're telling the universe, Hey, I appreciate all the good stuff and I'm ready for more. And guess what? The universe listens. When you're grateful for what you have, you start to notice even more blessings all around you. It's like putting on a pair of special glasses that help you see the beauty in every little thing. Suddenly, life feels brighter, lighter, and more magical. But that's not all. Gratitude also has the power to work miracles in your life. When you're truly grateful for what you have, you're sending out positive vibes into the universe. And in return, the universe sends you even more amazing things to be thankful for. You might not believe it, but I've seen it happen time and time again. People who practice gratitude regularly find that their lives are filled with abundance and blessings beyond their wildest dreams. It's like they're living in a constant state of joy and wonder. Journaling is a powerful tool for self-discovery and healing. Pour your thoughts onto the page without judgment or censorship. Allow yourself to release any pent-up emotions and gain clarity on your path forward. Visualization is like creating a movie in your mind. It's a special skill that helps you make your dreams come true. All you have to do is close your eyes and imagine yourself living the life you've always wanted. Picture it in your mind like you're watching a really cool movie starring you. But here's the secret sauce. You've got to feel the emotions as if it's happening right now. Imagine how happy, excited, and grateful you'd be if your dreams came true. Feel those feelings deep down inside like you're already living your dream life. Believe it or not, the universe is like a giant genie that grants wishes. And guess what? It listens to the pictures we paint in our minds. 
So when you visualize your dreams with all your heart, the universe takes notice. It starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Louise, my dreams are so big, can they really come true? And my answer to that is yes, absolutely yes. The universe loves it when we dream big. It wants us to live our best lives and be the happiest versions of ourselves. Love is like a magic potion that makes everything better. It's the strongest thing in the whole wide universe. When you give love to yourself, to others, and to the world, amazing things happen. Love isn't just a feeling, it's a superpower. It can make all the bad stuff go away and turn frowns into smiles. Imagine you're feeling sad or hurt. When you fill yourself with love, it's like wrapping yourself in a warm, cozy blanket. It soothes your heart and makes you feel better. And when you share love with others, it's like giving them a big hug from the inside out. It can brighten their day and make them feel special. But love isn't just about making us feel good. It's also a healer. When you send love to someone who's sick or hurting, it can help them feel better faster. Love has this amazing power to heal our bodies and our minds. It's like a magical potion that can fix anything that's broken. You are the creator of your reality. Your thoughts, beliefs, and actions shape the world around you. Embrace the power within you and watch as miracles unfold in your life. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. You are worthy of all the love, joy, and abundance the universe has to offer. Believe in yourself, trust in the process, and know that you are truly magnificent.